this is a question I'm sure that <coughs> you would like to answer. As a matter of fact, though, it is, you're probably the only one who can answer it correctly. Oh. This question, this question is a very serious one, and we get it asked all over the world at meetings. Where is the line drawn in how much extraterrestrials can help us on our planet, and who determines this line? Sure. Yeah. And they pay ten bucks to get the answer to that. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm serious. I'm very serious. This is a question that should only be answered to top initiates after months and months, years of practice, years of proving that you are indeed worthy of being called initiates. You still want me to answer it? Yes. <laughs> no wonder I've given away a fortune. Ask the question again. <laughs> it might inspire me. No, seriously. Where is the line drawn and how much extraterrestrial, extraterrestrials can help us on our planet? Yeah. The line is drawn by the lords of karma. There is a law which is an aspect of God. Uh, it was stated by Jesus as you sow, so shall you reap. Not so may you reap, so shall you reap. It was stated by Buddha, action and reaction is opposite and equal, or are opposite and equal. There is an end to divine intervention. And that end is almost upon us. It is very difficult for highly evolved cosmic beings to intervene any more on behalf of mankind. It becomes more difficult by the day. Whether you believe it or not makes no difference to the fact it is so. So the law of karma, what you have been in your last lives and what you have been in this life determines how much extraterrestrial help you can get because these people will not interfere with your so-called free will. I, uh, in the early days, used to think, well, uh, if they really want to demonstrate their power. This was when I was a, a young fledgling learning about things and I made silly mistakes, as you all do. Uh, why don't they uh, try something like this? Cut off all the bridges in the city of London, float them in the air at about a mile high and leave them there for six months. It would be a good demonstration of power. They could do it in such a way and at such a time wouldn't kill anybody. And my God, it would shake the people who live in London and England and Europe and the world. And they could do it very, very easily. Anything that can come through space in the way that those babies come through space can do almost anything. I was told and I might say ticked off that that was my idea not theirs <laughs> they in their wisdom had better ideas than I did They're absolutely right of course you know the big secret to your success Every, I'm talking about everybody in this room now is contemplation, sorry, concentration, contemplation and meditation. If you go through these three steps, then you will become wiser. And this has bearing on the answer to this question. Very, very difficult for further divine intervention to take place. If all of you knew what I do, 
and some of my close associates do, you would find out that the intervention from the space people has been enormous uh, in this last few years. Enormous. Uh, you know, that'll take a, a lecture lasting many hours to tell you exactly what I'm talking about. Take it from me, it is true. If you don't want to take it from me, then study. You'll find it to be true. Who draws the line? The law of karma draws that line. If it was possible for everyone in the world to become enlightened people in the next three minutes, then we would deserve, all of us, you and I, would deserve the intervention necessary in order to put everything, I mean everything, including even the weather, right on this earth. Including even old age, right on this earth. So I'm afraid, you see, statements like these have cost myself and the Aetherius Society great deal of popularity. Why? Because we tell the truth. That's why. And truth has never been popular. But I'm afraid that intervention, that means direct help, to the earth as a whole, direct help to the earth as a whole is becoming more and more difficult for the cosmic masters. It's not that they don't want to do it, but they will not, number one, interfere with your free will, and number two, they will not break the divine law. <coughs>